Hello, friends, and welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, September 15th, and it is rather late in the evening for a weekend chat, and I'll explain why. It's been a bit of a crazy day. Uh, and because it's so late in the evening, I'm going to enjoy a cigar instead of a pipe. Hope nobody minds. Eh, you won't. This is an Intemperance, Intemperance, yes, by Romacraft Cigar. And let me get this going, because otherwise I'll be blabbing all night and won't have uh, anything to show for it. Um, I'm going to use my favorite cigar punch. <laughs> it's just an acid brush. Uh, you might even, if, if you look in there, you might even be able to see there's there's the ghost of uh, punch cigars past in there. But uh, I've got another cutter on standby in case this doesn't work. Sometimes it, it doesn't uh, quite give me what I want, but... And I only do this when I'm down here. I I don't carry one of these around with me. But look at that. That's that's a beautiful punch cut. Open draw. Who could ask for anything more? Just be careful what you use the acid brush for before you do this. All right, let's get this lit up, and I'll tell you what's been going on. I should have brought down a fancy butane cigar torch and used that with the acid brush cut. That, that would have been funny, but or I could have just used my map torch. And some will say that the Zippo's equivalent to a map torch. So anyway, uh, so let me let me cut to the chase. One of the it's been a really busy day and. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't make a video this morning was that uh, last night at about 9.30, uh, 9.50 maybe, uh, my father-in-law, Ray, passed away. Uh, he went very peacefully. Um, he had a good day. He actually watched the uh, Pitt West Virginia football game. And uh, uh, next time we do a Friday live stream, remind me and I'll tell you the full story because there's a funny twist to it that I, I don't want to. I don't want to make light right now, but um, my wife called me. She is taking it very well, and I was really worried about her and the whole family. And I, I, I heard from them a little bit that she put me on the speakerphone, so I talked to her sister, and her mother was right there. Um, and I, I attribute that in large part to all the prayers and, and good thoughts that all of you folks have been thinking for them, and I greatly appreciate it. So... Uh, Thank you for that, and if you could keep it up for a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, Ray was uh, w was quite an interesting man, and uh, maybe someday we'll uh, we'll tell some more stories about him. But uh, and I'm sure that over the coming week there'll be lots of stories exchanged as we gather together and, and remember him. But he was a good man. He was very kind to me. Um, he welcomed me into his family when uh, when I married his daughter. Uh, he introduced me to fly tying all those years ago and fly fishing, so I have him to thank for that. And uh, you know, we didn't didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but we we always got along, and uh, he was always good natured about the disagreements we had. And uh, you know, he he had the kind of personality which was just if he disagreed with me enough, he would just shake his head and say, "Ah, oh, you're a dumbass," and that would end the argument. I was always right, though. Uh, anyway, I uh, I will miss him, and uh, many will miss him. So, uh, again, I just wanted to update you because so many of you have been have been praying for him and and, and for the family, and uh, you know those prayers worked. We he was 93 years old. Now, I might have said 94 before I, I was corrected last night, but it was in fact 93. Um, he lived a very good long life and uh, died peacefully. And honestly, I don't think that uh, you can ask for much more than that. So I know he is uh, with God now and is no longer in pain, no longer suffering, and in the presence of perfect love. So what more could one ask for? It's 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 not. It's not a normal thing to say, but the truth is, if you believe what 
we believers believe about an afterlife, then death is not a terrible thing. It should actually be a happy, a happy moment. Except for when it's tragic, of course. But when someone lives a, a good long life like this and they finally go peacefully, that that's a happy thing because they're in a, in a better place now and they've they've made it to the next stage. So rest well, Ray. Um, you will be missed. And uh, again, thank you to all who who prayed along with me over the past uh, months uh, regarding that. Uh, another prayer request I want to I want to ask for though is uh, unrelated to any of that. Um, my friend Peter, you know Peter as uh, the Smooth Piper. Uh, he's a regular on the Friday Night Live streams. He does have a YouTube channel. I uh, don't know how often he puts out videos, but he did he did put out quite a few uh, in the past. He's a wonderful man. I, I very very dear friend. Um, we don't chat as much as I'd like, but we do get to chat occasionally and we trade messages back and forth and he let me know that his brother Daniel is suffering with a tumor on his lungs um, he's having a lot of trouble breathing restricting oxygen and they're, they're giving him oxygen and uh, so you know pray please pray for Daniel uh, keep him in your thoughts and uh, and Peter as well and Peter's family because uh, this is a difficult time for them and we'll we'll certainly hope for for all the best outcome there so love you peter i hope uh hope things are well and uh i i hope uh, i hope daniel's feeling better so that's uh those are the prayer requests uh thank you for listening to that and for letting me talk about it a bit it uh, it helps me too I'm not going to give you impressions of the cigar because I'm not very good at cigar impressions. But if you haven't had a Roma Craft cigar and you are a cigar smoker, go get a Roma Craft cigar. Like, go right now. Turn off the video. I don't care. It's too late. You're not going to do that anymore. Oh, but you might be watching this in the future. Okay, finish the video and then go get a Roma Craft cigar. That seems reasonable. No, they, they really are very good quality. I've never had one I haven't liked. Uh, I like their, I think it's Aquitaine line, but the Intemperance is, is very good as well. Um, and by the way, I have a little libation here. This is, uh, spout a little too quickly there. This is a, um, it's a rye whiskey uh, called Rittenhouse Rye. And uh, very reasonably priced and very, very tasty rye whiskey. So I, uh, I do recommend it. I'm not the whiskey connoisseur, so your mileage may vary. But to my palate, it's a nice, uh, nice drink. And I confirm with my buddy Eric, who uh, knows rye whiskey better than anyone else I know. And he said, yeah, that one's not bad. So <laughs> that made me happy. I got one right. So we're now, um, you know, waiting for the plans to be made. I'm obviously going to be heading out to Pittsburgh. So there's almost certainly not going to be a Friday Night live stream this week. There will almost certainly not be a, a weekend chat next week, um, meaning the coming weekend since this is Sunday evening. So uh, I will try to remember to put up a post about that or something, but... Uh, Forgive me if I don't, because it's going to be a little bit crazy in the coming week. I'll do my best, but uh, and I'll and I'll miss I'll miss that. Uh, but you know I'll be back and we'll get together again in another week's time. Past two days have been a little crazy. I, I yesterday I so I bought a tool shed. It's not a big tool shed. It's uh. It's a tall tool shed. It's uh, 72 inches, I think. So that's, what is that? That's seven foot, right? I think so. Uh, it's maybe like 30 something wide and 20 something deep. It's just big enough to hold like some rakes and some garden implements and things like that, that currently either have to get carried back to the garage or I forget about them and they sit out and rust. Uh, so I 
finally bought this and I thought, well, I'll put it together uh, yesterday. And I set out at about maybe about one o'clock in the afternoon to start putting this thing together. And there were a lot of phone calls. <laughs> And you know, a lot. It wasn't just my wife who who called frequently because she was upset. She, she, you know, her her dad was going downhill very rapidly at this point, um, and she wasn't expecting it to be so fast. And so she she called me many times. And of course, I stopped what I was doing to talk to her. But a friend of mine called me several times, and uh, there was a couple other calls. And it started to get dark. And this, I hope this works. This is what I had completed uh, <laughs> in all that time. I managed to build the base, which uh, was not not very satisfying, actually, to, <laughs> to just get those those pieces screwed together. That's actually four pieces and then four corner brackets that all get screwed together. Now, the problem is that the instructions on this thing are about as cryptic as can be. It's just like pictures and lots of letters and arrows and then it'll it'll have like a title like assemble base and then you've got to find B31C and there should be three of those and 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 then how many screws do you need you count the screws and you hope you found all the holes and then they don't tell you things like there's parts that go on later that in order to put them on you you've already used the screw hole so you got to unscrew it because the screw actually holds two things together against a, a third piece. So you got to unscrew it, overlap them, screw it back in. So I spent another several hours out there today without interruptions, and I've got the, the structure built with the exception of the doors. So I'm going to try to get the doors on some, some night this week. And that'll be done. So that'll be, that'll be fun. Well, it won't be fun. It'll be done. <laughs> uh, it'll be nice to have a place to store that stuff in the um, I still have to build a, a base for it because I don't want to just have it sitting on the ground. So I'm thinking about putting a, making a little uh, box out of uh, pressure treated lumber and filling it with some gravel and just leveling it off that way. That's probably the quickest and easiest way to do it because I want to get into any major landscaping for, for something this small. You know, like I don't want a poor pad or something like that. And it'll be fine. So yeah, that was that was what I did today and yesterday, and uh, my back is not very happy with me right now from that. Uh, I was watching a. Sorry, I'm going into full blown ramble now. You've gotten all the useful information that you're going to get out of me. So if you don't want to listen to me ramble and smoke, watch me smoke a cigar and drink whiskey, you might want to go watch something else. Uh, I saw a video earlier today where a guy was lifting something, and he, he it, it's one of these tool restoration type things, and he bends over to pick something up, and he clearly was not bending his knees as he did this, and, and he captioned it with, when lifting heavy objects, always be sure to lift with your back and use as much twisting motion as possible. <laughs> I think I might have taken that advice today because my back is killing me. And I don't see the chiropractor for two weeks. I don't see them this Thursday. I would see them next Thursday. But my guess is I'm not going to see them either Thursday because I'm going to be in Pittsburgh. So that might I might try to sneak in before I go to Pittsburgh, see if they'll take me in uh, for an off-schedule adjustment because that usually helps with this back pain that I have. And it's it, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll work itself out. My car is done. Uh, everything everything happens at once. Uh, my car has been repaired and I can pick it up. I just have to figure out how to get to the auto dealership and drive it back without having to leave a car there. You, you know. So I don't know. I mean, I assume my wife is going to be coming back, but I don't know how soon she's going to be coming back. I know she's going to be coming back. I assume she might be coming back with me, but maybe not. So I don't want to. I don't want to leave it at the dealership. So I'm probably gonna. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll get a ride. It's not that big of a deal. But I got to do that this week, and uh, you know, get stuff ready. 
get out a suit and make sure it's not all wrinkly and you know all the kind of stuff you only do when things like this happen uh, I like routine and when my routine gets disrupted the, the first thing I do is try to find my new routine and I feel like this is this is going to sound like I'm whining and making everything about me, which I guess I am. I feel like I just got into my stride with, you know, being a bachelor, my wife staying in Pittsburgh, juggling that, taking care of the dogs, getting my work done. And, all, and, and believe me, I'm going to be really happy when this is over because I'm exhausted. I'm sleeping six hours a night, most nights, and... Uh, yeah, I come home, I eat dinner, and I fall asleep. It's it's not it's not good. So this will be with my wife back when she can, you know, take care of some of the things that I've been doing uh, in her absence. That that'll be a huge huge relief for me. But everything's you know it's a well oiled machine, and now machine broke down, and we got to figure out how to rebuild it. So we'll get to work on that. But the good thing, if, there, if there's good news, it's that uh, we're headed towards October. We're headed towards the Halloween season, which some people, I'm looking at you, Eric, the blue collar pipe smoker, have started to celebrate unreasonably early, but that's okay. Because we do love it. <laughs> we do love it. I understand the temptation, Eric. Mark in Rhode Island is another one. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to try to do a Halloween video this year. Honestly, I have not even thought about it yet, so I don't know what I'll do. I love doing them. You know, last year I did uh, my top five pipe smoking moments in, in uh, horror movies. And, you know, I really enjoy doing it, but the fact is it's a lot of work, and those videos do not get views. Um, really surprising People just do not watch those videos. I know some of you do, and you're going to say, oh, I love those videos, and I get it. But I get more views for a video like this than I get from one of them, which surprises me. I thought I'd be bringing in maybe some horror fans or stuff, but maybe they see me smoking a pipe, and they like, ah. You know, <laughs> I don't So we got that to deal with, and man, once once we hit Halloween, we go just go sliding straight into the holiday season. All the good stuff around that. My friend Chris sent me something, speaking of the holiday season, that I forgot to mention on Friday. And I'm just teasing this. He sent me a gift that is going to make most of you burst out laughing. It made me laugh. I thought I was going to be sick. I laughed so hard at this. And it's going to be a fixture from the end of November until the end of December uh, here in the shop. So something to look forward to. Just a tease. Not going to tell you what it is. You have to tune in at the end of November. Uh, anyway, folks, I think I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say and a whole lot more and probably wasted more of your time than uh, I should have but I thank you for listening thank you for always being there and for this wonderful community oh one more thing if, if you missed it Simon London Calling with Simon had the auction for Phil uh, last night and uh, I believe it raised I think the number was $2,600. It did a really nice job. So thank you, Simon, for that. And for all the folks that donated things and all the folks that bid and everything, I, I picked up a couple of nice things, uh, which I'm quite excited about. And uh, all, you know, great cause to help out our buddy Phil. So uh, thanks to everybody that, that was a part of that. It was a great time, and I, I had a good time. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, and if you want to see a replay, I'm sure that the live stream is on Simon's channel. So you can go to London Calling with Simon and, and watch the watch the fun.
it's always nice to see the community pull together at times like that. You know, I've been involved in a couple of those, uh, and it, it, it really impressed me because the two that I handled were not, I want to say this carefully, the first was not a, a pipe smoker. Well, he was a pipe smoker, but he was not part of the YouTube pipe community. And uh, that was when my friend Justin, uh, who was a fly tire, professional fly tire, uh, passed away suddenly. And uh, his family was really left to lurch uh, right around Christmas time. And you guys came together and turned what could have been a terrible, and probably was a terrible Christmas for, for his kids, and he had a lot of kids, into something that at least they'll remember fondly and, and, and maybe with a bit of appreciation for the kindness of other people. Uh, so you really, really stepped up for that. Uh, the other one was for someone who is a member of the community but preferred to remain anonymous. And even though you didn't know who it was, you once again stepped up and delivered admirably. And, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see that happen. And now once again, we, we have something like that coming along. Uh, anytime there's a need for prayer, like like what I started out earlier today, or just you know people that'll reach out and say, "Hey, I saw you talking about that thing. I hope everything's okay." You know, or I'll, I'll say, "You know, I had trouble with my car today." I'll I'll get two text messages and three emails with suggestions about what the problem might be, um, and I try to return the favor. I'm not always successful with that, but I try to. Try to live up to that standard and, and do the same. So, wonderful group of folks, and I'm really proud uh, to consider you all my friend. With that, I really will say goodbye. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Had a wonderful Sunday, and uh, looking forward to a great week ahead. Uh, we will probably not speak again next week, but the week following, I'm sure we will. And until then, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now, my friends.